Oh. Oh, what a day I've had. What an absolute day I've had. As you can see, I'm still dressed in my work clothes. I managed to be able to find out how to put a hat on. But anyway, so there has been a statement released from Carol Lurie Dreyfus. Yes, I think it's pressure from everybody out there who wants to know what's going on with the head coach situation. It is. That's, what, that's my opinion. I think he's feeling the pressure slightly. <laughs> Under pressure. Pushing down on me. Pushing down on you, no matter what. Yes, Kiri. Is he really feeling the pressure? I don't know. But anyway, basically what he's saying is that, because silence is golden. But it's not, it's not. We want to hear things. You know, a little statement like that, that statement will probably have took him 20 minutes to think about. Couple of seconds for someone to print it up. Bob's your uncle. Actually, he'll just say, this is what I want to say. There you go. You write it down, you sort it out, I've done my bit. Five minutes, whatever it took Kirill Louis Dreyfus to do that. Five minutes, five minutes, five minutes of your time. Kirill Louis Dreyfus, five minutes of your time. It's taking you to do that small little statement. But it means the world to a lot of fans. I think a lot of fans out there would be like to read things like this, to know what's going on, to know that you're trying to make amends from the... The, the shit show yet of, of, of the second half of last season. You know, you basically must have... That, that's what you're saying, really. We, we, we fucked up. He's basically Kirill saying, we're fucked up. You know, we made the right balls up. Well, you know, speak made the right balls up. And now we're going to try and make amends. We are close. You can read the statement. He said, I'm not going to read it out. Other people already have. You, can, you know, I'm not very good at reading anyway. So you can, you can go on there, on the official website, and read the statement. Basically, he's saying, yeah, we screwed up last season. We're going to do better this season. And we are close. You know, what is the process of getting a new head coach in? Maybe his interview will still. Do you want the job? No? Okay, fair enough. Who's next? Um, uh, and four or five or, or seven or eight names down the line. Bob. Bob the job. Bob a job. Bob a job! We'll give him the job! Come back, Bob a job! Come back for the second interview and the third interview. We don't know what the process is. I, I, I don't believe there's a process. I believe that it has a list of names and he goes down, he ticks them off or crosses them off every time one says, we don't have nothing to do with you at this club. I might be being a bit harsh. But anyway, joking aside, yes, there's... Um, they're getting close to a new candidate. The new head coach will be coming next week. He didn't say that, but it sounded very close, very close indeed. So that's quite good. I'm quite pleased with that. We need a new head coach in as soon as possible. Now, if you agree, he's agreed there, he's agreed. He made big errors last season. The disappointment of last season for a lot of fans. You know, the underachievement of last season. The balls up by Speakman. Lots of, well, lots of occasions, not just one, not just twice, two or three or four different occasions. They tried it the cheap way, they've recognised it, and by that statement that means they're going to do better. They want to achieve, they want to do better. We want you to succeed, Mr. Kirill Louis Dreyfus. We don't want you to linger down at the bottom of the championship and be in a relegation dogfight and then get relegated. We don't want none of that. No, 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 no. We want you to bring some experienced players in, some players, some experienced strikers. No more kids as strikers. We've got enough kids there, strikers as it is. We need some experience in there. It's not rocket science. Splash a bit of cash, get some experience in, a couple of strikers, a good head coach, and we'll take it from there. The good head coach... I, I hate to think who it is. I, I've got. I literally have no idea who this head coach. It could be anybody. It really could be anybody. We don't know. We've seen. I mean, I fear the worst. I fear that you know we're not going to have anybody who's going to come in with any sub substantial amount of experience or quality. We're going to get, we all know, and I think you know, we're going to get somebody who's up and coming and ambitious who wants to try and, you know, have a good go at this, at this Sunderland Malarkey. I do, I think. You know, we've got plenty of kids in there now. If we can persuade the owners to get one or two bits of experience in, a couple of strikers, you know, a central midfielder, a bit of knowledge, you know, we, we, we could do well. We really could. We, not, we, weren't, we weren't far away last season. It wasn't for balling up. Once one or two decisions, 
we could have been, you know, teetering with the, yes, that the famous, that lovely word, teetering, teetering with the edge of the of the playoffs of the championship, like we did last season. I think last season, we know, I think a mad sort of clipped all the jigsaw puzzles together, completed the jigsaw puzzle of mad last season, had us playing good football. I know we didn't make it to the playoff final. We didn't make it to the Premier League. So clearly we've got to push and, and, and get some better quality players in, in different areas. We know that. We know that. I don't I don't think we'll get promoted next season. Personally, I just don't. Unless I see something, some massive changes. Some absolutely massive changes. Something out of the ballpark for what these have been doing. Now, a lot of us out there don't think that they're going to make massive changes. But we have to hope. We have to hope. Because like I said before, we do not want anybody to fail at the club. That goes from players, coaching staff, to the head coach, to the owners. Even if I don't like Speakman, I want the bugger to succeed. We want them all to succeed. We don't want to be lingering in dogfighting, having boring football and playing shite. You know, football that like Dodds was doing, slow, tippy-tappy football from the back. You have 90 passes before Jack Clark gets it. And by the time Jack Clark gets it, you know, the whole team like this. Come on then, Clarky. Take us on. Take all 11 of us on. You're not going to get past 11 of us, Clarky. Slow sideways and backwards football. That's what we need to stop. We need fast, fluent, bit of, a bit of idea. Some good ideas from somebody out there, please. With some better players. But well, there we go. I'm not asking for very much. So there you go. What's your thoughts on the statement? You think he's panicking a little bit, trying to calm the calm the the core of the of the, of the of supporters down there, you know, make them chill a little bit. You be back like, here. I want to believe he's being honest. I want to, I want to believe he's being sincere and I want him to succeed. Because we I can't see him going anywhere soon. So we need them to succeed because he's the owner of our club we love. So there we go. Please give us a thumbs up. Leave us your thoughts. Take care. God bless. Now I'm going to go and have a run, shower and, you know, maybe it's a bite to eat. I'm not going to bother with alcohol tonight because it's you know, Saturday. I like a Saturday drink. Right, we'll see you later. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoy the content. Yes? Did it come on here? Watch the content, enjoy it, and don't give us a thumbs up. Come on, man, smash the thumbs up. It's a second. It takes a second. It only takes a minute. No, second. Hey, see you later. Bye. <laughs>